Welcome, friends, to another exciting episode of A VGM Journey, and I'm your host, The Messenger. The track that we're playing in this week's show is Big Apple 3PM from the game Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge, and that was composed by T. Lopes. We've got another fun show with fun tracks, and I say let's get right into it. We're going to kick things off with a classic track from a classic Super Nintendo game, and that game is Kirby's Dream Course. And I want to play the track Cloudy Mountain Peaks, and that was composed by Hirokazu Ando. Fun track that you just heard that was Cloudy Mountain Peaks from the game Kirby's Dream Course, and it was composed by Hirokazu Ando. I think, in some weird way, I kind of think of Kirby's Dream Course as a bit of an underrated multiplayer gem on the Super Nintendo. And it was during a time where Kirby had a crazy amount of spinoffs. So he was doing everything from like breakout style games to pinball. There was a Poyo Poyo game that was just Kirby. But I feel like Kirby's Dream Course is probably the most classic out of all of them. And also the most fun. And the soundtrack, I think it's really good. It has that classic Kirby sound to it, but it also sounds a little unique in a way. And I think tracks like this kind of has this bit of a, I would call a chunky sound to it. And I forgot to explain the gameplay for Kirby's Dream Course, which it's pretty much Kirby, but it's golf. But instead of hitting golf balls, you're hitting Kirby and you're trying to clear all the enemies on a screen and the very last enemy turns into a hole. And you also have access to various powers that will affect the trajectory of Kirby and how he bounces or how he gets around on the course. And the multiplayer is a lot of fun too. So you still have your hitting enemies gameplay, but you're also trying to get these star points and whoever has the most wins. It's definitely a Super Nintendo game that I recommend. I, I think it's a lot of fun. And speaking of fun, I think this next track is quite a bit of fun as well. And this is coming from Spyro the Dragon. The track is Town Square and it was composed by Stuart Copeland.
that track that you just heard. That was Town Square from the game Spyro the Dragon, and it was composed by Stuart Copeland. I will admit that I'm not the biggest Spyro the Dragon fan. That would actually be my fiance Carly. But I think we can both agree that the soundtracks for the original Spyro the Dragon games, they're really good. And I think it has a nice chill vibe for the most part. And I think tracks like this kind of emphasize the fun aspect of the game. And I think a lot of the tracks have a real strong percussion sound to it. I really dig the percussions, which really helps that Stuart Copeland was the drummer for the band The Police. And I think what's really weird, too, is that I could best describe the music as kid friendly, which is a really weird way to describe the music. But I feel like a lot of you guys could agree with me on that. And that it totally fits the game. It's mainly what you're doing is running around these levels, collecting gems, rescuing dragons, and collecting eggs too. While you're shooting fire and ramming into enemies. It's a game that doesn't really require too much from the players. You just have to get a good feel for it. And it's easy to get into. I mean, heck, I had Carly on the show and we had a whole episode dedicated to the Spyro the Dragon PlayStation 1 trilogy. And you know that there is so much good stuff on there. And I think speaking of really good stuff, I want to play this request from Martyrus. Well, it technically wasn't a request, but Martyrus shared this in the VGM Journey Discord and I thought it was really good, so I'm just playing it anyway. And this is coming from the game Police Knots. The track is Old LA 2040, and it was composed by Tapi Iwase, Masahiro Ikariko, and Motoaki Furukawa.
that track that you just listened to, that was Old LA 2040 from the game Police Knots. It was composed by Tappy Iwase, Masahiro Iwariko, and Motoaki Furukawa, and this was sort of requested by Martyrus. So thank you, Martyrus, for that request. Police Knots is a little bit of an interesting game where it was a graphic adventure game that was written and directed by Hideo Kojima, who created the Metal Gear series. And the thing that kind of struck me as weird about this track, and also, well, not even specifically the track, but the whole entire soundtrack, is that there's like a little bit of a Metal Gear solid sound to it. Despite none of the composers for Police Knots are on the credits for Metal Gear Solid, so I think they had no involvement with that at all. And I think due to the length of this track and with it going all over the place, I feel as though this track is plays in one of two points in the game. It's either the intro or it could be a credits track. I'm leaning more towards intro, but I could be completely wrong. And to be honest, I really don't know too much about the game itself. It doesn't help that there was never an English localization for the game and that it stayed as a Japan exclusive. But I think it would have been cool if it made its way over here to the States. I'm sure that a lot of people would check out the game. So I just want to say once again, thank you, Martyrus, for that request. We're going to move on to a track from a game that originally was a Japanese exclusive, but recently got a remake and it made its way to North America. And that game that I'm talking about is Live Alive. The track is Megalomania, and this was composed by Yoko Shimomura. That track that you just heard, that was Megalomania from the game Live Alive, and it was composed by Yoko Shimomura. And that's going to just about do it for the show this week. If you like what you've been listening to, 
have your friends check out the show on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, whatever podcatching service that you can think of. I'm more than likely going to be on there. You can email the show at vgmjourney at yahoo.com, and you could also check us out on Twitter at vgmjourney. We also have a Discord server for the show, which I will provide a link for that in the show notes, where you can hang out with your fellow VGM journeymen and talk about games, music, and even look at some cool art. And we're going to play things out with one more track, and this is coming from Persona 4. The track is Like a Dream Come True, and this was composed by Shoji Meguro. Have a good week, everyone.